Uh, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Dion and you're watching Reptiliatus. Well guys, today we are doing another silkworm feeding video. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. As you can see, Sabzi here is getting pretty big. She's grown a lot. Haven't you? Hmm? Don't try and jump there, that's really far. But yeah, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Dion, I make videos about specialty pets, such as, well, green tree monitors, and other types of incredible reptiles, cool amphibians, and invertebrates. So yeah, that's the sort of thing you'd enjoy seeing. Definitely consider subscribing down below and dinging the notification bell afterwards so you don't miss a future video. Now, let's put this girl back so we can talk business. She's a very curious animal. She's always like, yeah, see? Okay, I put Sabzi back because she's getting a little rambunctious. Anyways, I post videos every Tuesday and Friday. I'm considering doing it more often. I have to see about that though. Yeah, you can see some awesome content about these incredible animals. For today's question of the day, I wanna ask you, my wonderful audience, my viewers, what is your gut loading regime? Are you even familiar with the term? You really should be if you're keeping these types of animals. What are your favorite types of things to use as gut loads? Personally, bee pollen is a power food. Spirulina, great stuff right there. Let me know what you think down below, and as always, I'll give you a comment a heart, and we'll engage in a little bit of a conversation, because I always wanna know what creative ways you guys are creating a complete gut load formula for your animals. I'm curious to know what are your favorite ingredients that you add to your gut loads, or what products you're using. All right, friends. You know the drill. Let's get into the video and watch some amazing animals enjoy some silkworm or, you know, sky puppy larvae. Take your pick. Awesome. Hello, mister. All right, guys, it's time to see if Tiki will come for a silkworm. Hey, buddy. Oh, there he is. Come on, Mr. Teeks. Look what I got for you. Tiki. Oh, yeah. Where are you going? Are you going back home? <laughs> You're okay. Are you gonna run across Sunny and Sappy's enclosure? Sappy's like, what? Come on. Oh, nice. Good job, buddy. Good job. All right, go home. Come on. Go home. You know what to do. You know the drill, buddy. Come on. Yeah, yeah. What a funny guy, honestly. Funny little guy. 
Man, I love this gecko. Yeah, that's right, I do. All right guys, well here is Sappy, one of my female red-eyed crocodile skinks. Now let's go ahead and see. Well, she clearly does want a silkworm. Let's go ahead and give her a silkworm. Here you go, girl. Let's see if one of the babies will take one. I'm very curious. It looks like Sunny's coming. Better grab that before Sappy gets back, cause yeah, if she does, nobody's enjoying that. Oh, here he is. Here he is. Hey, good job, Sunny. You got one. Oh, see? Oh, one of the babies wants one. What about if I just give you a silkworm? Here. Take it, now's your chance. You can do it. Okay, that's a bit ambitious, I'll admit, but I think you're gonna do it. Yeah, I knew you'd do it. <laughs> He's like, uh, okay, now what? This is his first silkworm. You got it. Go ahead. Sorry again about the angle, guys. It's not very good, but I'm just gonna keep trying. Once he tears at it, I'll get a taste for it, not to be vulgar. Uh oh, here comes dad. What's happening here? Oh, sorry, little bud. It's interesting here, and I've observed this in the past. The babies will tear at food while their parents are chewing. And I don't know if this is just food competition, like you see normally, or if it's something systematic where the offspring actually kind of have an opportunity to take food that way and feed themselves. When it's larger prey, they couldn't subdue on their own. You see this baby actually has a piece of the silkworm sappy caught in its mouth. Very interesting. Well, I don't know if this one's gonna get a chance to take anything from Sunny. Very curious to see what happens. He's chewing, but he could definitely be swallowing that sooner. So I don't know what's going on in there. Let's see. See? He has it. Hmm, curious. Well, it was nice to see them nonetheless. Hope that was good, Sappy. Guys, now it's time to see if one of these Shinisaurus Crocodilarius will accept a silkworm. This one here is usually very receptive. Let's see if we can get her to come right. Oh, uh oh! Okay, okay, okay. Oh my gosh. Well then. I did not expect that. I'll be honest with you, I was hoping I had a chance to drag her out this way so we could get a full view of the animal, but uh, she clearly had other plans. Yikes. What about you? Would you like a silkworm? Or are you gonna run away? Please, what I got for you? Come on. Silkworm. Mmm, come on. He's watching, he's just not sure. Come on, buddy. Do I need to put it up here for you? Now are you gonna go for it? Let's see. It's crawling. Uh-huh. I knew it. How did I know that would make all the difference? I know you too well. Beauty. Thank you. 
think he's happy. All right, well, let's move on. All right, guys, so here is Sabzi, and she already knows that I have a silkworm for her. She's getting pretty excited about it. Hey, girl. Hey, look what I got for you. She's like, oh my God. Here. This way. Sabzi, what are you doing up there? I don't want her to get anywhere near the heat light, so I'm gonna scoop her up. Go back home for a sec. Okay, girl. Look, it's up here. Now she knows. I think. Sabzi. It's right there for you. Oh, goodness. Are you proud? Oh! As you can see, she is super enthusiastic about her silkworms. And also pretty messy. The amount of times I have to clean the enclosure, the glass, myself, because of the way this girl eats. Yeah, it, it gets pretty gross sometimes. Oof. But yeah, I mean, whatever makes her happy, that's, this is all enrichment, different types of prey, super important. Good girl. You can see those toes from back in the spring. They've healed completely, but the nail beds are gone. I mean, she makes do or she uh, manages just fine. Look at you! How was that? She's like, uh, do you have more? Guess what? I most certainly do. I most certainly do. So, not that this challenges her very much, I'm just gonna offer her the next silkworm in her little finch nest as a form of enrichment. We're gonna go ahead and stick this into her cork wall, just like so. Ah, that was hard to do with one hand. And you'll see right away she's gonna come check it out. She loves this thing. Let's put a nice sized silkworm into the bird's nest. Just like so. Now it's in there. On the bottom. And yeah, we'll wait for Sabzi to come over and check things out. Okay, everyone, so you can see Basil is basking right now. I'm hopeful, but also sort of doubtful that he is going to 
let us feed him a silkworm. But nonetheless, we can certainly try. Hey buddy, can I open your door? I'm moving very slow around him. Trying not to scare him. He's in deep shed right now. Sometimes he lets me open the door. This is really hard to do. He's watching my hand right now and he's gonna hear the click and bolt, I think. I don't know. Okay. Basil. Isn't it a world difference between him and Sabzi? Oh jeez. It's because everything is foreign to him. The sound of the door opening. at my level so that's what I'm hoping will not concern him. Hey buddy. Do you like this? I got for you. Do it, eat this. Go for it buddy. Come on. Basil, I'm so proud of you. Now watch what he's gonna do. I doubt he'll eat that in front of us. He's probably gonna do what Sabzi used to do. And either hold it like that a million years until we're gone, or run into a cork hide somewhere and need it alone in secrecy. Come on, Basil. The first silkworm. Everybody give this guy a thumbs up. Congratulate him. Come on, Basil. I hope you might start eating. Yes, buddy. There you go. Good boy. He's got to learn to thrash it like Sabzi. He's like, why is this holding on to the... Are you a gentle leader? Ah, uh, there he goes. Yep. Told you guys. Oh. Okay. Didn't like me saying that. Who is this guy? He's gentle. Sabs, he's the one who goes nuts. This guy's a pretty gentle eater. Oh no, hold on, he's tearing at it. Ooh, buddy. What the heck are you doing? What is that? Nope, yeah, we're getting the silkworm feeding we thought we'd get. I lied. Okay, so I tried feeding Nona and Pingu. For whatever reason, they had no interest in coming and eating. So I figured, let's give Sabzi another silkworm. Hey girl, how are you doing? Yeah, you wanna have a silkworm? Are you hungry? Are you inspecting? Yeah, go in my pants for a sec. It's gonna probably be a mess, but it's small, so here. Over here. Hey. Yeah, look. That. You better not make a huge mess. Come on. Just that one's small. You can just swallow it, okay? Please. Come on, you little dinosaur. I believe in you. Oh, Sabzi. Good girl. Good girl. Okay, well, you know what? She's actually... I'm impressed. She didn't make too big of a mess there. Good girl. Look at that tail. All right, you can go home. Come on. I have some other animals to feed. I need you to go home. Come on. There you go. Good girl. All right, I'll come check on you later. I'll come check on you later. 
<laughs> well guys, there you go. That was today's silkworm feeding video. Well guys, there you have it. I'd say that was quite the successful feeding video. Man, I don't know about you, but uh, there were some pretty intense takedowns. For me, it's always gonna be the green tree monitors that just steal the day when it comes to the silkworm feeding videos. But let me know in the comments who you thought had the craziest takedowns for those silkworm feedings. I'm looking forward to seeing what you thought. Lots of messy silkworm feedings, but the animals are happy and that's what matters. Thank you, silkworms, for your sacrifice. We appreciate you. My animals appreciate the healthy meals. Sorry you had to go that way. But yeah, circle of life, if you will. Awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, definitely consider giving the video a thumbs up. And if you want to support this channel further, I have a Patreon. I just ordered a bunch of stickers, guys. I'm really excited to have those arrive and send them off to my patrons. So if you want more information about my Patreon, how you can support this channel further, the link to my Patreon page is down below. Appreciate it. Thanks so much for taking the time to look at it. And I have my merch store. You guys have been sending me photos of you receiving your merch and it's just so humbling. I really appreciate you guys supporting me that way. Really makes a little bit of a difference for me and I thank you. It's so cool to see people rocking the Reptiliatus merch. I'm actually looking into creating a few new designs so stay tuned for that. Alright guys, without further ado, if you want to see more silkworm feeding videos, there's a playlist up above. But otherwise, I can't wait to see you all on Friday. Have an awesome week and take care. Bye everyone.